one of my favorite games. It's called Last Flop Standing. So what we're going to do is we're going to get everybody up on stage. And yeah, thank you. We don't always like doing first thing, but intermittent reinforcement is a great thing. Uh, so for this game, I need someone willing to serve as our timekeeper. Okay, so we all have, thank you, we all have these devices, right, that you tell time to. So what I need is a four minute timer, and all of our flops here are going to give expert testimony, if you will, on a subject that you're going to choose. And when one of the other flops feels like somebody's kind of BSing, they can clap in, I will acknowledge them, I will hear their argument and decide if they get to replace the other person. The last flop standing at the end of four minutes time is the winner. It's as simple as that. So what is their topic? Medicine in the 1820s. <laughs> Wonderful. We're going to go with that. Our topic tonight is medicine in the 1820s. Let's start our timer, please. Well, medicine in the 1820s was pretty simple. If it stank, you should cut it off. So, Someone might have an appendage that's turning black. Well, the solution, cut it off. Someone might have an extra finger on their hand. Cut it off. <laughs> that's true, we have some. I was getting there. Come on. So before you go ahead and start cutting things off like a psychopath, you gotta put a little incision, or a large one, and let yourself drain into a bucket. Yeah, come on, Everybody knows this love beach. Uh, there were many methods, sorry. Uh, yeah, pass out. You have not discussed the spiritual side before then kind of applied. That's true. You see, before going to your regular doctor, practitioner, whatever, you're going to go see. Perfect. Nobody had a regular doctor in <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they kind of did. Yeah, there was always the one doctor. Yeah, but then there was also the one magician, whatever you want to call it, shaman, whatever, that you would go to and they would extract the spirit out of you. That was... <laughs> uh, this just sounds like a case of hysteria. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> if we're going to keep this discussion going, we're going to have to fumigate some vaginas or something. <laughs> they, they always call for smoke for this kind of thing. And it seemed to be the cure-all until you had to lock him up. Yeah, go, go, go. He has, yet, he, he didn't mention that the fumigating is more of a vaginal potpourri. I'll accept it. Now, we all know that how is one would apply this vaginal potpourri is they would walk into the designated cell. If there's something wrong, they cut it off. <laughs> no, they, they wouldn't in this case. <laughs> No, she hasn't, that's true. Your vaginal potpourri is nothing compared to opening a window and letting the fresh air in for those, you know, people who are ailing, and... Uh, it was a well-known fact that and people very much preferred cigarette smoke to fresh air in those days. That's true, Dr. Frank. <laughs> <laughs> see, this was the start of it, it was all Dr. Smoke. Yeah, they just did, like, a little ash in the wound, no problem. This in the 1820s, you dust that off, five second rule is where this all started. And see, it really helps with, like, getting the stank right, like, when you get it, like, it's almost like a control, so you're like, I don't know if that's too bad yet. <laughs> no, that's definitely bad. Cut it off. Cut it off. Yeah, that's, that's a bad one. Hold on. This misogyny is unacceptable. That, that is correct. It is unacceptable. <laughs> During the 1820s, there was a whole era of female medicine, midwives and such. We had just barely stopped burning them as witches by 1820s. The 1820s were known as the era of good feeling. And these women provided that good feeling, not the way you're thinking of. Everyone! No one felt so in the 1820s. Cut that off. sounds like witch talk to me! That's right, it is witch talk! <laughs> All these people talking about modern medicine, it's bull crap. What are they? They're witches. So what do we do with the witch? First things first. You turn the witches into vaginal pulpery. <laughs> Yes, you're right. <laughs> See, witches, they deserve one thing. 
You tie him to a tree, you tie the other end to a horse, and you know how it goes. Everyone knows you have to burn a witch. That's true. You have to burn a witch. I mean, you can't draw them apart, they'll just cling back together. Monty Python had the last word on witches. Okay, right. Right. Okay. They are thrown back together, we cut them off. <laughs> oh, it was so close. I was going to let her in, but time ran out. Woo! <laughs> Yes! Yes! Uh, yes. Uh, 